around for centuries. I thought it had been centuries. decades. It's been around forever, basically, and it doesn't it sound has. very glamorous, but it actually has some pretty surprising health mm -hmm. benefits. Mm -hmm. Suzette is the queen of Garden Goddess Ferments. You know all mm -hmm. things, uh, health tips. I know a lot of things. I yeah, you know, well, no, you know all. <laughs> you know everything, and you're gonna break this down for us. So uh, everybody's been taking this. Not everybody, but it's been used as a lot for a lot. Well, when you hear castor oil, what yeah. do you think of? Well, I think of just misery. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't, I don't know. Well, our ancestors or our elders used castor oil for uh, a laxative. Uh -huh. So like my dad would say, don't give me that. I grew up on castor oil. Oh. And so um, the, our elders thought that uh, castor oil was like a cure-all. Okay. And it's a very thick oil. It comes uh, pressed from the seed from this plant that has a word uh, that's words really long. Um, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> we'll a, it's a plant. It. Yeah, we'll skip that word. Okay. But um, it's a very thick oil, and it um, it's, has many many benefits. Okay. Um, it helps your hair grow. Um, it it um, reduces inflammation. It's antiviral, antibacterial. It can actually pull out uh, cysts and tumors. Can it really? Yeah. So it's. How a, much do you take? Can I try it? I've no, never... please don't drink that. Why? Is it bad? <laughs> you drink everything I bring on I here. I know. Though. I just want to try it. I want to try okay. it, but continue. All right. Hair so just a, a, a little bit will. Um, a little bit goes a long way, and we'll see how Holly does uh, after this. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I mean it's not t it's not terrible, but it's horrible. Right, you don't want to take a spoonful of it, right? Mm -hmm. So hair growth so, is a big deal, and it gives you a, it gives your hair a richer color. So by um, helping your hair to grow, um, you just want to massage it into your scalp. Okay. Um, you can also mix some. With, I made some mascara for you last night. Some beeswax, okay. uh, cacao powder, or charcoal powder, depending on what color you want to go with, and a little bit of castor oil. And here we go. We've got some mascara, and um, I tried to apply some with a toothpick. I think I need some more time with okay. perfecting um, the mascara. But it is a non-toxic uh, beauty product that you could use, and if you perfected it, um, I think it would go a long way. It'll also encourage uh, growth of your hair follicles. So I love whether it. it's on your eyelashes or in your hair mm -hmm. scalp, um, you know, it, it'll help uh, promote the. For castor oil packs, even on the back of the castor oil bottle, it talks about a castor oil pack. There are many naturopathic doctors in the valley that are recommending castor oil packs. Really? For all, you know, we did a detox segment long, uh, not too long ago. You uh, soak a rag in castor oil, and then I, this is the cheap way to do it, uh, put a plastic bag over it, and then tie something around your waist. Got you it. You want it to go over your liver and gallbladder, and the castor oil will actually pull out impurities and what? detox. Oh, this is um, very interesting. I don't know that I will drink it again, but I might use it on my scalp. Thank you so much, You're Suzette. You're welcome. Thanks for you having me. You can follow Suzette on GG Ferments on all uh, social media platforms.